Hi friends, it's Becky from Saul's Mom Plans. And today, instead of a plan with me, I'm going to share with you how I have set up this uh, Planner Kate 8x10 disc album. I use it to um, organize my stickers for the month. So let me first preface this with, this was not my idea. Um, I have a planner friend, Debbie Pettit, and um, she is at Debbie.Pettit on Instagram. She also has a, a Facebook group, so look her up. Um, she posts gorgeous pictures and has great ideas, spreads, and so forth, so be sure you follow her. Anyway, we're planner friends, and I am not an organized person. She is, and um, I was just, we were texting one day, and I told her how I just was having a hard time remembering, you know, the kits that I'd bought and so forth. And she shared this idea with me. Now, she got this idea from Jennifer Crowder, who is at Happy Place Planning on Instagram. Jennifer also the same. Very organized, beautiful um, spreads in her planners. So, make sure you follow her too. So, um, you know, I, I just... She helped me get this together. I purchased these things by um, her suggestion from Planner Kate and just wanted to share. I had posted a picture and several people had asked, is there a video? So here it is. All right. Um, so this is, as I said, the 8x10 disc album and it sells for $14.50 on the Planner Kate site and it is under the organization tab. And so with this, you receive the disc, you get um, the covers, which is, is heavy, and it comes with this Planner Kate sticker on it. I, think, I don't think I put that on there. And then it also has the heavier back. It also includes um, 30 insert sheets. Now, you can get extra. I did not need them for the way that I set this up. But if I get another one, who knows? Um, so what I I did, um, I also purchased, so let me do that. I also purchased the five tab dividers. These are $6.50. And you find these when you search for this, the um, 8x10 disc album. There's a drop down and the tabs are under there. The five tab dividers sell for $6.50. Then I also purchased, as Debbie suggested, um, these agenda divider labels. So you can see, and I'll show you. So they say daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, and there's also a notes, and I'll show you these stickers. So these are um, $2.50 for the stickers, and they are PK103. So that's what I purchased. Um, so when I set this up, I knew that... I was having trouble deciding what kits to use. So at the beginning of the month, um, I pick out kits to use in my planner. So um, the first page though that I have in here, which is in front of the first divider, is I always print out the Planner Kate Challenge list. Um, this is on her website also under um, news maybe. Um, anyway, if you, you know, subscribe to Planner Cade, get, um, she puts this out every month. Um, just because I like doing this, I like sharing some of these things, and it also kind of helps me, oh, okay, you know, I do that, so I'm going to put it out there and share what I have with other people. So I cut that out, and I put it there. Now, these pages, um, the inserts, the opening is on the side, and I do like that, so that's the first page. Then I have my first tab, which is labeled daily. Now, I don't use a daily planner, but I do use the compact vertical. And in my compact vertical, I keep lists and I do them daily. So it just made sense to put things there. Most of the time in my compact vertical, I use washi and then I just add other stickers. So sometimes I have a theme, sometimes I don't. I don't purchase a lot of the um, compact vertical kits, but I purchase them every now and then. I just like decorating it, mainly with washi and making sure I have checklists. So behind here, I have one, two, three, four. I have five sheets back here. Um, 
there could be, you know, like one for every week, but, and that's kind of how it works out. Of course, I don't put the washi in here, but if I'm planning on using something for the week, I put it in the first week. So it's my birthday week coming up. So I have some birthday stickers I'll put in there. And then um, the week after that, um, I did choose um, this washi that I have and then these little stickers and I'll embellish it with other things also. And here's a kit for the next week and some washi ideas. I just, this is kind of extra stuff that I have that I didn't use everything, so I wanna use it up, so I'll use it in my compact vertical. I also, um, these are from another kit, but I thought the navy or the dark color here would go well with this, so I stuck these back here. And as I find different stickers that I might use during the week, I'll stick them in here also. I use um, these little dots a lot to make my little list. I also have some to-do stickers back here. Sometimes I put those on there. These stay here. And then I also have the check boxes here. So that's what I have behind daily. It's not for a daily planner though. It could be, I use it for my compact vertical, things that I'm gonna use when I decorate my compact vertical. And then I have weekly. So this is where I pull kits for the week and put them in here. Um, so I have uh, one, two, three, four, five pages back here. So there were five weeks. Now, um, the last week, it was August and September. So that was pulled with my when I had August in here. So I updated this this um, past week. So again, um, here's the first week. I bought this <laughs> birthday sam kit from um, Planner Kate. It's called, it's an any kit, so you can use it any time. But anyway, I stuck all those stickers there. And then I have different stickers that I'm gonna use throughout the month. It just kind of keeps me accountable. And I'm not all over the place at the last minute trying to pull things. If I find other things that will go along with these kits, again, I will stick, a, stick them behind here. But I try to put everything in here that I'm going to use when I decorate my um, life planner. And I do use a vertical life planner. And then I have the monthly tab. So here, um, this was also an idea of Debbie's. Um, my monthly in my life planner is minimal but i wanted a little more color because i do love the inspire colors and so um i've almost set up i think september so here's september so um i saw that she had the colored strips here and so forth so i said okay what are you doing how it looks so cute i like that minimal style and um she uh, told me what to do. So um, I buy the uh, monthly stickers. These are the EC Bold, and I bought it. You, they are sold by quarter. So you get, um, oh gosh, let me just pull them out. And y'all, I bought two sets because I like to mix the colors uh, on the date dots. So like in, I guess that was July. Um, I thought the yellow looked pretty with it, so I I bought two sets of the dots so I can mix, mix and match the dots. So anyway, here they all are. Um, so you have, um, let's see, January, uh, excuse me, July, August, September, and then you have October, November, December, and then January, February, March. So um, Again, I bought dual because I want to mix and match the colors, and that's what this little sticky note is here, where I mix the colors up there. Okay. So, and also on the dot shot, April, May, and June. They're by quarter, sorry. Um, so this is, that's in my first part of where I store monthly. And then I also purchased um, the stickers that match the monthly colors on here. Um, so these are the appointments. So this is V6-B. And then these are just the labels. Again, they match the different monthly colors. And I purchased two because, again, I like to match the, I like to mix the colors up. I just think it makes it more colorful. And then, I, um, let's see, these are V-7B. And then these are the dot labels because I think they're cute. 
and this is a V-36B. And again, these are in the monthly. The EC Bold Monthly matches my Inspire. And I did get two sheets of those. And I have some extras back here. Um, I use the balloons a lot, so I may pull those. Those are actually in an Icon album that I have, but I may put them in here because that's when I use them. I bought two sets, so I could keep one in there and then one on here. Um, and then behind yearly, not a lot, but I think as, the year goes by, I will um, add to this. But um, I did purchase the Planner Cake Monthly stickers um, that I use just in different places. And I like them, I love this font. Um, and then I bought the uh, Doodle Holidays. You get uh, January, June, and then July, December. I haven't used them a lot. Um, I, my thoughts are I'm gonna use these in my, I, I do a monthly remix, but I want to start using them in my live planner on the monthly view uh, just because they're colorful and I think they match well. So those are in there. And then I also have these. So I haven't decided whether to use these for my monthly remix and these in my live planner. I think I've used a couple of these. But anyway, these are L100. They're just labels also. And then in notes, I have extra pages in here. I think I put, um, you get 30, so I put like five or six behind each one, but I did do that front page. Um, and then on this notes tab, so here are the labels, the PK103, and I could have written, you know, notes. I don't know if that actually goes with this, but um, you do get extra labels, but I like that the writing's all the same. So. Um, I use the larger ones on these tabs, and you so you get two sizes, you get two sets, and both are uh, two sizes on here. Um, also, back here for yearly, these asterisks, these are these are discontinued, but um, you can uh, order these. Um, these were S. Um, 755, you would have to um, request these and you do this in an email. I love them. The, I get these, Debbie had these. She uses these on that um, monthly, the bo 12 boxes, and I just loved them. And these are the EC Bold colors. So I put those in there also. So that is how I set up my Planner Kate 8x10 disc album for my um, sticker storage for the month, daily, for the year, and so forth, things that I use. I just, I thought it was a great idea and it does help keep me organized. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you decide uh, to purchase from Planner Kate, I am an affiliate, but Debbie also is an affiliate and Jennifer Crowder is too. So use one of their codes if you follow them. We usually post every week about P Planner Kate. Um, the affiliates for Planner Kate, Erin Condren, they put a lot of work into their videos. So use their affiliate codes. Um, uh, for Planner Kate, you'll get 20% off. Um, but anyway, I will leave information down below, but be sure you follow Debbie and Jennifer because again, this was not my original idea, but it did help me um, get organized. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this and have a great day. Bye-bye.